After uploading a video about how I use the Stream Deck with Ableton in my studio, I got a lot of questions about the setup. So today I'm going to show you how you can make it work for yourself. The first step is getting a Stream Deck. You can use the Stream Deck MK2, Stream Deck XL, whatever works. You can even get like the, the small one. Obviously you need to install all the Stream Deck drivers and it also helps if you already start using it and implementing your own actions, okay? Next step is to download Keyboard Maestro. And this is an amazing Mac automation software. I definitely recommend it, not only for Ableton, but just in order to optimize your workflow and automate repetitive tasks. When you open Keyboard Maestro, you're gonna see this window. You can create your own group, like a folder, and save all your macros here. In my case, I created a dedicated Ableton shortcuts folder where I saved all my macros that interact with Ableton. So in this case, for example, if we go to open ProQ macro, we can see the actions that we can program for Keyboard Maestro to execute. I don't even need a Stream Deck in order to launch ProQ. Why? Because this macro can be triggered by this string typed. So whenever I type 222 on my keyboard, see ProQ3 gets open really quick and why that happens basically because I specified this following actions for this macro I said simulate keystroke command F what that does is opens see it opens the search tab in Ableton then I say please uh, type in or insert text Fab filter pro q3 okay so if i press command f i type in fab filter pro q3 in the search area i get the results here right then i tell keyboard maestro to pause for half a second press down arrow down arrow and return so basically this is the same thing that i would do when opening a plugin so instead of doing it myself i'm just automating this sequence of actions in Keyboard Maestro, so it does it for me. Also, to close my plugins in a quick way without pressing the close button, I use Command Option W keystroke, and that activates my little free to use Ableton extension that you can download for free and optimize your workflow. So you can specify as many macros and actions as you want. So, for example, if I want to open a utility, see, I trigger it by typing 111. So if I'm here in my project, I type 111, see, it types utility for me, it presses the down arrow and then presses return key and the utility is right on the track. So how do you make this to work with Stream Deck? Pretty easy. In Stream Deck, you would have to create a new profile. Let's call this Ableton Tutorial. Okay, and we're gonna specify that we want this profile to work when Ableton is on. In order to connect Keyboard Maestro to Stream Deck, you can use this custom plugin that you can download in the plugin sections in, in Stream Deck called KM Link. And what KM Link does is basically linking Ableton with Keyboard Maestro. Okay, so when I drop the KM Link here, it lets me select a macro. And as soon as I press this button in Stream Deck, it's going to launch that macro. In my case, let's try, for example, with the Auto Pan. Now, if I press this button on the Stream Deck, it's going to launch the keyboard maestro macro called Open Auto Pan. Okay, and it's going to execute all these actions when you're in Ableton, and it's just going to open Auto Pan right away, really quick. So how do we make this look nicer? Let's type in Auto Pan like this. Let's make the text a bit smaller, maybe put it on the bottom. And now we just need to add an icon. And the icons are basically images, any kind of images work. I have my own images that I created here. If you want these icons, you can download them for free. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Just take the out upon image, this icon, drop it here. So now if I press that button on my stream deck, out upon is gonna be opened right away. And now if I want to add multiple buttons, the easiest way to do this is to copy and to paste because then it keeps the same text in, in place. You just have to select like the next shortcut, for example, compressor, just name it differently. And now drop the image here. Okay, so see, you can create your custom deck easy. 
Okay, so this is the profile that I use every day. You can also generate subfolders if you want. I don't like folders because I just like to click uh, the most used plugins right away. I don't really want to go and dig in deep into different folders. So in my case, this works for me perfectly. Also, I have two mute buttons for the mic. And those are just for my online sessions, for my mentoring sessions and for mastering and mixing sessions that I do with my clients. So in this case, this one just toggles the mute of Zoom and this one of, of Google Meets. Okay, so it depends like on which app I am I'm working. I can also uh, mute and unmute myself really easy. And this is it. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you like it, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.